That's the words of a hey, so how is it? Sprocket scientist. Okay, cool. <laughs> Did you hear that one? That was funny. Hey, we're coming to you here from the rain shower that never stops. This thing got here at about, I don't know, seven o'clock this morning. It looked like, based on the rain we had yesterday, this thing would be through in 15 minutes. We're about three hours later and you can see it's still raining. It's kind of thrown us into a tizzy. We thought we'd be running and dry and the boys are in here scrambling to get their rain stuff ready. Working on what do you call that, Ben? Friction? Tension. Tension? Yeah, I said friction. Friction, but I'm it's actually tension. If you no, it's the tension of the chain, but you're creating more friction you, if you tighten your chain too much. That's the words of a Hey, so how is it? Sprocket you're scientist. Fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> Did you hear that one? That was funny. What was it? He's a sprocket scientist. <laughs> 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 Nothing from him. No. Well, that was a good one. You can see here uh, in our easy up the working conditions are less than desirable. Next year's budget is going to have to include some flooring of some sort. Two minutes, 17 seconds of pure gold there, Casey. So the rain coming down. And uh, as you can see, the 34 cart is set up for dry. So, unless things change, I will go back to back days of not racing on a doubleheader weekend. That's pretty discouraging. But hopefully it dries off. I'll start from the back of the pack. You know I'm familiar with that. And we'll see what we can do from there. What's this? Finley, what is this? Go, go. Go, go? It's a go-go? It's a dirty go-go, isn't it? Daddy's cart's dirty. Doesn't get any cuter than that, people. We are probably about five minutes away from Dad racing. And I'm not exactly sure what all is happening, but it's just taking all three of them. All right, Sprocket Scientist, how are we doing? Are you guys done? You see this camera? I that, that's, okay, that's I, can't, I can't spin a thing if they're tightening things. That's all I... Okay, I'm tightening the engine and we're done. We're sending Dad out right now. He doesn't have his camera on it because that was just not a priority. The priority was just getting him out there. And who knows if we even got him a cart that can, you know, last 12 laps. So, sorry about it, guys. Good luck, Dad. Okay, so Dad is currently busy, unable to do his uh, race recap, <laughs> recap, <laughs> recap. Um, which, you know what, there's not going to be much of a race for you guys to watch because the camera didn't make it onto his car. He started last because he didn't qualify. Back is out there, looking at turn one, looks like a foot jump there from Tyler. And to turn one, they go, and the second five now, and Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Good job! Go, Dad! Yes! <laughs> As he got more comfortable, he started making some good moves. Maybe he just made his way forward, which is all you can ask. Oh, come on, come on, buddy. Go. Yeah, good job, Dad. Go, go, go. Right. 
great. Good pass, Dad. He ended up finishing uh, 21st. So, you know, starting at the back. Don't know how many carts that was. 28, 29, maybe. That was a great race, Dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because I stayed on track. I mean, it's saying more than a lot of people. You also, I mean, you were passing a lot of people. It's a good race, Grandpa. Grandpa had a good race, didn't he? You like the big camera better? You want in? A little last minute check. In case you forgot our tire gauge, so that's tire pressure. Get a video of Dad running back. Yeah, hopefully we will see Dad sprinting back. We borrowed one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, show off the those medals here. first. I got what do you, second place. What do you guys wow. race in? Uh, Hello 206 Junior. Awesome. And show us what you have on these carts here. What do you? We oh, would you look at that? Racing. One's right here. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. We appreciate you guys so much. I think that just goes to show that that's worth a few tents at least. I mean, Megan <laughs> won with the stall racing shirt on, yeah. winning with stall racing blog stickers. It's talent. Right. So Pure if you guys talent. want some, uh, let us know, and we'll we'll send you guys some. And, I don't know. We're, we're, if you do, you'll get medals just like these guys. <laughs> yeah, we guarantee it. Finley's got a custom onesie here, courtesy of his Aunt Maddie. Matches dad, dad. So, uh, this is day two of two and um, my race got over CIK so I did some math last night coming into today I was second points and I was like 22 points back from the leader went out there and qualified fifth in the rain um, it was decent not great could have been a lot better but uh, I'll take it for sure and starting the race um, this is probably a good time to say that my race didn't record I tried to go back and look at some of the video and it didn't record we pressed record, but I came back and it was like the camera was, I don't know, we had to, it was like it was dead, but it wasn't actually dead. So we took the battery out, put it back in, whatever. Basically the race didn't record. But Maddie has a little video from the sideline, so there's at least something there. But I started fifth and first lap in between one and two, I got and put in a bad spot. A guy got kind of T-bone in front of me. So he's up like on the rumble strips, I'm right here he's just coming down a little bit and you know there's not a hole that could have been done so he just comes down a little bit and kind of gets sideways and so I'm like pushing him a little bit and I uh, went basically to the back of the field slow 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 oh slow be careful And then just kind of drove back up as much as I could. It sucks that this was a really small track. Like it was like a minute and a few seconds. Like 103 was the lap time, let's say. Whereas the past few races, it's like in the 120s. So it was a much shorter race. Didn't have as much turns to make up ground either because it's pretty simple, easy going turns. There he is. Ben is coming back with a vengeance. So I got up back up to 10th, which is great. Bad news, Casey finished 9th, so he finally beat me. Uh, and, uh, and the CIK class and but I suppose the overall good news is that I am back in third so I actually lost the spot because the guy who was in third won the race so congrats Evan to winning the race um, but overall I did gain on the the championship leader quite a bit so I'm in third but it's like I don't know 15 points or whatever and coming into the weekend it was like 60 so um, it was all in all a really good weekend and 10th isn't where I wanted to be. I felt like I had a lot for him. I mean, my I know I was too wide on my rear. I was sliding a little bit and I still felt, I mean, I still was running great times. I was running just a couple tenths off of the faster guys and they were drafting and I was completely alone. But man, it just, I felt so fast all weekend. 
and I'll, I'll take one. A win in 10th place is not, not a bad weekend by, by my standards. It just, you always want more, you know, greed. So the end of my first race, it started off really good and ended uh, kind of typical for me recently. Made my way up to second. Running in second for a while, could not catch the lead guy. He was on another level. He was running real strong. Uh, running in second for a while, and then um, just started moving backwards. felt like I was just getting a little slower and we think it was my chain I had some issues in qualifying where I would <laughs> when I qualified for that race I my chain would pop off periodically through the run and I'd get out of the cart and pop it back on and then go again it was pretty comical but uh, I still qualified fourth even going through that Keith is not having the best VIK qualifying right now this is the second time he has stopped. I don't know. Okay, bro, they're coming. Oh, well, here he goes. But we think that messed up the chain. And, uh, yeah, I just moved backwards. Ended up finishing in 10. This is how we all feel when, after a, a race like that, huh? Wow. But where's your duck? Where's your, oh, there's Duckleberry Finn. Okay, so that's it for my racing. Race number two done. I started second in that one. Went to the lead uh, on the first lap. And then I led nine laps. And coming up <laughs> to the two to go signal, I had a driver error. I, I pushed it too deep into um, a hairpin, washed wide, and uh, lost a couple spots. fell back into third and was um, holding there the same turn next time I did the exact same thing I, uh, I just I was overdriving at that point and uh, ended up going off track Yeah, 
went off track, had a little battle towards the end, and um, ended up finishing fifth. You know, it's not what I want leading three-fourths of the race to come in fifth. But considering the two mistakes I made, I guess I can't be too upset with, um, with a fifth place finish. I just need consistent finishes, and a fifth place helps. I need to get some Ws, though. Um, I want to be in the championship hunt, and right now I'm not. And I've got to change that.